Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video. In this video, I'll be teaching you how we can install Apache Spark on Windows machine. Apache Spark is a big data framework which can handle both streaming and batch data and can be downloaded very easily on the Windows machine. But there are some requirements. So what are the requirements? For that, I have uh, listed it on my uh, notepad file. We need to have these three things okay, with, with us. First, Java should be available. Java is a prerequisite for all the big data tools. Okay, even for Hadoop and other tools, it is required. Followed by Python is important because Apache Spark can easily work in Python as well as in a Scala. So Python is important. We need to download Python. Then we need to download the setup of Apache Spark from internet. Followed by we require also two files from the internet, which is Hadoop WinUtils and Hadoop.dll, which I'll be giving you the link. Then afterwards, we need to set the environmental variables, followed by we need to test the PY Spark and Spark Shell. Okay, so currently I have opened up the simple uh, my search engine and in which I have just written here Spark download Windows. Okay, this is the first link which I have to click and this is the link uh, which will be uh, going on. Okay, this is the link on which you can find the recent version uh, is a 3.5.0. So this is the one which I am be downloading and it's written here. It's pre-built for Hadoop 3.3 and later. Okay, this is important. So when we click on this link, it will be start downloading. Okay, this I'm already having in my machine. You can see this is available as my zip file. This is the one which I got from internet. Afterwards, what we require is, we require the two files which I'll be getting from this link. One is hadoop.dll and winutils.exe which I'll be getting from this particular link. I'll be providing you this link in my description box. Don't worry. Okay, I need to keep these two files in my folder winutils. I made one folder in my C drive under which I made a subfolder bin under which I have replaced these two files, okay, hadoop.dll and winutils. So we need to place these two files in exactly in the same, same way, winutils, you can just rename it with any other name as well, hardly matters, but you should be having bin uh, in the subfolder. Under bin, we have uh, two files available. So we have done this step. Afterwards, what we require is we need to have the Python in my system. The Python is 3.12.1, the current version. You can download this one and followed by we have to ha we need to have a Java in our system. So these are the prerequisites for this particular installation. So I'm having everything with me. So let's now uh, give the environmental variables. I've already have opened up the environmental variables. Uh, open up this page, go to this dialog, this one environmental variables button and click on new and simply give here spark underscore home okay and because it's available in my c drive so let me uh, go to my c drive and get the name copied here okay uh, properties copy and give a path here we are done okay it's already been extracted from a zip file okay followed by you can see winutils, I've already have been given the path in my environmental variables in the C drive winutils. Okay. Afterwards, click on the path and give a new entry. Click on new and percentage spark underscore home percentage forward slash bin. Done. And you can see there's one more entry available winutils bin. Please remember we need to make two entries in, in uh, environmental variables. One is winutils, one is spark underscore home. Click on OK. Click on OK. We are done with the installation. Okay. Now we can check with the uh, this uh, PowerShell opening with the uh, administrative mode and go with the CD. Go to your location where the Spark is available. Go to its bin. Okay. Go to its bin and simply type in Spark hyphen shell. By default, the Spark open up in a Scala prompt. Okay, Apache Spark is written in Scala language. So if you type Spark hyphen shell, it will be opening up in the in the Scala prompt. Right. This is the first way we can check. You can see in no time you will be getting up the Spark logo. It means it's it's pr pr perfectly opening up. Right. Now we can also check out the Sparks opening up with the Python because Apache Spark to support python as a language so again go to with the c with the cd uh, command go to the bin and simply type in py spark so py spark will open up in a python prompt so it's up to you if you're comfortable in a python you can code in a python if you're comfortable in the uh, scala you can code in a scala you can see in no time you'll be getting up the uh, apache spark opening up in a 
Python mode as well. And it's currently using 3.12.1, which is my uh, current version, which I've already have shown you. It may take some time here. Let's wait for a minute, maybe. So it will be opening up the PySpark for us. You can see it's now opening up and let's, we got it, right? So this marks the end of this uh, video. I hope you must have uh, understood how we can install Apache Spark on Windows machine. For rest of the content, I'll be covering up in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next video.